Hello, my name is Liana Tai, and I'm here today to talk to you about why I make as an artist. So, why do I make? First, I want to start by reading my artist statement. I crave telling stories through food and folk tales. Every piece has a story underneath, but built on contradictions. When I didn't have a connection to my culture, I still ate Asian food. The process of cooking is symbolic to my growth, a tangible representation of the turmoil inside. The act of eating food together is a unique ritual every time, using this to combine my experiences and the universal experience. I use East Asian folk tales from my childhood and explore my narrative of longing for a place I have never been. With these stories, the viewer is able to see the world through my lens as a multicultural Asian who feels conflicted about belonging in society. Learning the difficulties of attempting to fit into a world that works against me pushes the boundaries of my work. Each material has a memory. The information remains even if there is an attempt to undo it. Through the physicality of my mediums, I explore the relationship between impact versus passivity. I am a bunch of definitions found in a dictionary that combine like incompatible glaze. Learning how to use the correct steps to get the work to evolve heightens my understanding of art and myself. I think it's important to know my background in art to get to know how I got here today. I was a really engaged student in all of my art classes growing up. It was a subject that captivated my interest and brought out strengths that you often didn't see in the academic classroom. In middle school, I joined art club and it was so much fun getting to use art as a tool to express creativity. I didn't take art in school after seventh grade. My time was really occupied by band. Still, I never stopped making art in my free time. In my senior year of high school, I realized that I wanted to go to school for art, to learn more skills and to profit off of my work. Art was something I simply had to do all the time, in whatever form. I always had an idea to execute and had no trouble giving myself time to do so. Currently, I am majoring in craft and material studies at VCU Arts. My two focuses have been clay and glass. Clay has always been my favorite medium, but I am always learning more. And glass is a new and exciting adventure that I am really enjoying the process of getting to know a new material. It's been amazing getting to focus more on certain materials and really acquaint myself with them. Art has a lot of problem solving to do because no matter what medium you work with, something can and usually does go wrong. I like to show my process because I believe it gives a good insight into how I think about my art. Here are our bamboo I made out of clay each ranging from about 26 to 32 inches. I made them in two parts because I was afraid of them slumping or cracking because of the stressed pressure. I used a slot mechanism to have them fit together. I also put holes in the bamboo so I wouldn't have to worry about the branches snapping off when I would lay them on their side. Those were made separately and put together right at the end. It took me seven hours of painstakingly dipping and wiping off the parts that would lay right onto the kiln shelves, but it was all worth the time and effort. The bamboo turned out the way I wanted and I was extremely happy with the presentation. I wanted to show some of my main inspirations for my work. I've done another presentation in further detail about these artists and why their work is significant to my practice. Just from the visuals, I believe you can gather base level information, such as color choice, food, 
and culture as themes that inspire my work. So let's go back to the question, why do I make? Well, one reason is because I get to use the materials I love. I am very privileged to attend a school with access to materials I have and haven't worked with before. Every day I come into the studio and I get to make work I am proud of. I love experimenting with the materials and learning new ways to execute my ideas with them. There are so many materials that I want to learn how to create with and materials that I have, but I want to use more in my work. Getting to have the opportunities to use new materials in and out of the classroom is why I love to make. I am so interested in mixed media and getting to combine irregular materials together. For example, my bamboo project was clay and paper to create one piece in the end. I make to learn and I want to always improve my craft. My second reason is to express myself. As a queer Asian American female from multiple cultural backgrounds, my experiences and who I am has given me a unique point of view and so it is reflected in my work. I make because it gives me a deeper understanding of myself and where I stand with the world, along with giving others a different perspective to consider. I am by far not the only one with these minorities and I am not special for them. But I make art to give a voice to people like me in ways that only we can do. Personally, I make art that has to do with my complicated relationship to my cultures and how I'm working through it. I've learned that I don't use art therapeutically, but instead as a way to transform my words into a visual form. It is the aftermath of the journals and of the journal entries and poetry I have written. I make because I want others to see me for who I am and who I will become. And last, because I simply want to. I think it is most important that anyone makes with the intention of wanting to make. We can get really lost in other reasons and thoughts, forgetting that the core reason is because we love making and have a desire to keep making. I want to always make because I want to, and if there ever becomes a day I am only doing it because I need to, I will find my want again. It's an extremely privileged mindset I can have for what I would like my job to be, and I absolutely acknowledge that. Regardless if this is how I earn my income fully or partially, or even if I'm making for someone else's production line, I want to make because I simply want to. The action of making is so important to me and who I am that I could not be parted with the desire to make. Thank you so much. I hope that you learned about my art practice, my passions, and why I want to make.